we have some packaging. Okay. Hi, Dolly friends. It's me, Holly. Welcome to my channel. Thanks for joining me. I have some boxes that I'm going to be unboxing today. First, to start off, the reason why I got these boxes, it's a Target order. I was at Target a couple of days, a week ago, I don't know, a while back, and with Emma. And they happen to have, and I don't have any of these yet, and they've already hit the internet, so this is old news for most of you, but I went ahead and bought this doll. Uh, I'm typically not a big Disney person. I don't really own a lot of Disney. We watch a little bit from time to time, but it's just not something we do. But I've really been interested in these dolls because of a few things. One, um, they're articulated, which I love articulated dolls. And I really like uh, the uniqueness of their of the idea. Just some friends hanging out on a trip to amusement park dressed as their favorite character. And uh, I like that. I think that's clever. So I wanted to give these a whirl. This is the Tiana doll. Well, she's not Tiana. She's dressed. That's her favorite character. Anyway, so after I got her, I was like, you know what? I'm going to get the one I really wanted from the beginning because they uh, didn't have that one at Target. Okay, so this one, I went ahead and went on Target Online, and I really love this outfit. I love plaid. If any of you have watched any of my videos and seen some of my doll lines that I have, or clothes that I have, the plaid outfits are my favorite. And this is the Pocahontas themed outfit. So you can see some of the colors in there. Uh, but I really love the plaid. The next thing I got, another outfit. I liked the colors of this outfit, which is a um, tangled themed outfit. Tennis shoes, a backpack, a really cute pink sweatshirt. And I like that she came with some journals. There's two journals here. Here's a picture on the back of someone wearing it. I think that's the Belle character. Anyway, uh, I didn't show you the back of this one. So you can see the whole outfit kind of put together. That's also the Belle character. I don't know how she's gonna fit that hat on though. <laughs> Good luck with that. And let's see, I didn't show you the back of this girl, even though you've all probably seen it. Here's the full group. Hey guys. The one that really made me want to get these dolls um, was this one. She is the Snow White themed doll. And I just love everything about her. Her sweet face. I suppose I could unbox her for everyone. I just typically don't do this angle. Um, so it's throwing me off. And I feel like I'm constantly blurry and blown out and that bothers me. So I think I'm going to have the table view so you guys can see it and not me. I like that. Stay tuned. All right, here they are, so you can see them a little better. I am going to unbox these and we'll take a look at them and also see the surprise. I'm really excited to see the surprises. I It's food and that's gonna be fun. It's always nice to have dolly food for scenes and stuff. So let's go ahead and see what they look like. Okay, here they are, finally out of box. Uh, again, it definitely takes a while to get these things out of box. Anyway, we're gonna start first with uh, my Tiana doll. So she has a mini water bottle that has a cute little heart spitting kissing frog. Yes, I think that's supposed to be a frog because Tiana had a frog or she was a frog. It's been a long time since I've seen that movie. A very long time. I do love that she comes with a cute little bracelet with a crown on it. A little florally Kind of like an overall skirt with the new orleans on it and i have to say it's been years since i've been to disneyland i was probably like i don't know 14 15 years ago and one of my favorite parts of the park if they even still have it is the new orleans place i think it's really close to the pirates of the caribbean anyway there's this really fun little restaurant in the new orleans area that i really really enjoyed just had this fun little vibe to it anyway moving on she has this cute little Mickey Mouse ears with kind of the lily pad flowers that you would see a frog on. 
And then her shoes are a pretty little lavender flat. I have to say, I am very impressed with the flexibility of her ankle. Like, look at that. That is awesome. I don't get that kind of flexibility on most dolls, not Rainbow High. And the knee joint, I mean, it's it's fabulous. She's right up there with the uh, main move, I think, as far as her knees are concerned. She does not have a thigh rotation though, like a lot of other jointed dolls. She's wearing green underwears. Woo! And um, her arms, she's got the wrist, ankle, and shoulder, but no uh, like a mid bicep rotation like other dolls. So there he is. her head is pretty, pretty good. And look at those beautiful eyes of hers. I love inset eyes. She doesn't have eyelashes. That would have been pretty neat if she would have had the lashes uh, inset in there too, uh, rooted lashes. But you know what? I could probably add those and that could be pretty easy to do that. She does have a place for earrings. The two outfit sets I have do not come with earrings. They come with a necklace, but I imagine there's other sets out there that either do or will have earrings. So that's fun. She has a cute, warm, kind of a lamb, lamby feel jacket, fun little turquoise buttons. She has a backpack that uh, has the lily pad on it. It's not, I don't think it's supposed to open, but I managed to pry it open <laughs> and all you see is the straps, but uh, it's like a faux leather, you know, fabric strapping for her backpack. And then she comes with a balloon. All right. Whoop. Okay, so we get, I guess this is a checklist. Oh yes, it tells us all the possible treats that we could get in our balloon. The other side probably has more. And it does indeed. Ooh, which ones do we want? Oh, pancakes. You want the pancakes? Yeah. Is that a pancake or a waffle? Pancakes. Maybe I'll oh, yeah, like the Mickey Mouse pancakes that they serve at little restaurants. You know, they can't do that anymore because of copyright. That's right. We went to Denny's once and we asked for Mickey Mouse pancakes and they were like, sorry, can't give you Mickey Mouse, but we can give you plain mouse. All right, I'm thinking, oh, I feel a plate. Oh, I think it's a pancake. Or bagel I think it's a pancake. I think it's a waffle. It is. Pancake. I think it's a waffle. Let me now, young lady. Oh, sorry. Nom, nom, nom. All right, so she's gonna sit over here picking out on her delicious pancake waffle while I check out the next girl. All right, so this girl, I love her so much. She is the Snow White inspired doll. That's why she has the Snow White ears, color schemed. Uh, she comes with a necklace instead of a bracelet. So I liked that feature. I adore her face. I mean, that cute little nose, those beautiful eyes and those freckles. And she has the sweetest hair. I love her hair. It has kind of a brown with red highlights to it, which is really fun. And just a little bit of color variation with all those curls. <gasps> She's so cute. Okay, let's come her eyes though. Their eyes are different. I think Tiana doll is um, a little darker brown. And then this girl has a lighter brown. Okay, so her outfit is adorable too. It's some little cut off, faded worn overall, denim overalls with buttons. She has this cute little shirt underneath. Uh, there isn't actual pockets here, but there is a pocket at the top. So we could put something there if we wanted. And then she has the cutest little socks and shoes that just really make her outfit so cute. And you know what I appreciate? They're not heels, you know? You're going to a theme park here, an amusement park, you know, in Disneyland, you're gonna do a lot of walking and you can be cute, but let's have some practical stuff going on here. You're, you're gonna be doing some walking. Her mobility is pretty much the same. This is so she can get down on the ground and look at all those cute souvenirs on the bottom shelf. I want the stuffed Dumbo. Okay, when I was at Disneyland last, I got a cute little Eeyore and I also really liked the Dumbo. There was a little shop that had a Dumbo and, oh, anyway, it was so long ago. I mean, that's back when they had Toontown. 
Toontown, Roger Rabbit. They didn't even have cars. Cars didn't even exist. I'm so old. Anyway, moving along. What else do we have with our love? Oh yeah, she came with some sunglasses. Okay, so they're they're interesting. They're very circular. Um, so she likes very round glasses, but they have a little bow on one side, which is really cute. The red, of course, matches her shirt. And then, keeping with the Snow White theme, she has an apple cardigan, if you will. She comes with a backpack that also has those straps, but hers opens. It slides open. Oh, really hard. I'm stick a piece of real I just, gum there. I do wish they had fabric. I mean, they're, they're, these are $30 a pop. Now, I bought them on the Target sale. Target had this buy so many, get $10 off, and so that's what I did. Okay, so let's open up this balloon. Her balloon is red. Ooh, oh, yay, it has a little... There's two, so you can share with your friend. All right, I'm gonna unbox the next couple outfits. Oh, move them aside. Ugh. So we have again, Pocahontas and Tangled. We're gonna open these two and I will get them unboxed and show them to you momentarily. Here we are with the outfit for from Tangled out. And it's really cute. She has some cute shorts here. That uh, Velcro in the back with working pockets. And a little button in the front, which I really like. Really cute sweatshirt with some kind of light ribbon lacing on the sleeves. And a ton of little tiny plastic pieces on these things. Like just so many, it's ridiculous. And then she comes with shoes, little flat tennis shoes that coordinate with the sweatshirt. This is what really lured me into this particular set is it came with a really cute little journal and a school notes. Now, I honestly thought this would be more than just one little laminated thing. I was hoping it would be like an actual little notebook, but it's not. This journal is plastic. And then the thing, honestly though, the most disappointing part about this entire outfit is this backpack. Seriously, they give us this cute, adorable backpack that we like, and they give us two cute little notebooks. But you know what? Backpack doesn't open. Nope. There's no way, unless I slice off the back, to get these notebooks in here. So I'm actually tempted, quite honestly, to use an X-Acto blade and cut this whole part right here so I can put the notebooks in there. I just, I feel like, what? Don't give me a backpack if I can't use it. That's just frustrating. Anyway, moving on, a little snarky today. And then we have um, a really cute necklace. Okay, so that's outfit number one. Now for the last outfit, I got the Pocahontas one, which I have to say, the thing that surprised me most about this outfit that I uh, didn't really see, I, I really wanted the plaid. I loved the plaid. Wasn't really that wild about the shorts. Didn't really care much about the shirt, but I didn't realize how stinking cute these boots are. Look at how cute these are. They have like fringe and straps, just so cute little treads. I love these a lot, a lot, a lot. And then the pla uh, the plaid, it's not flannel. I wanted to say flannel, but it's plaid, just a lightweight material. It's got little pocket details on the front with buttons and then nothing on the back, but a little collar. It's cute, it's cute. And then the hat is really cute, but I'm not sure, I'm really curious how well it fits. However, I have these ears on. So I can't really test it. And I really don't want to take her ears off right now. So I'm not going to worry about that. But And then she comes with binoculars that have a nice strap, kind of a faux leather strap on them. So those are nice. Really cute little uh, compass necklace. I do love the color. I'm a huge turquoise fan. So this really matches my 
color preferences. And I also love like fall leaves. So that's another reason why I like this one. Um, the thing that's most disappointing about this set, cause I guess I have to say what's most disappointing. I thought perhaps they would take the opportunity since they're printing a miniature bird watching guide to maybe put something in there that might be, you know, related to birds. And they really didn't, didn't take that opportunity to find some kind of information and plop it in there. It's just lines and birds. So that to me is a little disappointing. I feel like it's a missed opportunity that Disney had to make this even better. But no, even if it's just about the hummingbird, you know, the character in the movie, why not? But nope, they didn't do that. And then the shorts are drawstring. Uh, I kind of would have liked it if they were actually like little cargo shorts with side pockets. I know I'm just complaining. Gosh, I'm really complaining, but I feel like if I'm going hiking, I'm gonna wanna wear some shorts that are really gonna be substantial for being out. And when you look at the picture here, she is out there getting outside, doing some hiking. And I don't know about you, but I want pockets in my shorts because I didn't get a backpack. <laughs> So where am I putting my phone? Where am I putting my granola bar? All that kind of stuff. Where am I putting my guide? But anyway, um, they're cute. They're good little like jogger type shorts. And then the shirt. The shirt is cute. I like it. I like the tie. He's cute. I mean, he's making marshmallows, roasted marshmallows. So what's not to love about that? Yeah, okay. So this is everything for my set. I don't know if I'll be getting any more of these. I really do love the dolls. And then the treats that you can unbox, that's a fun, a fun touch. I do think that they'll need to try to make it where you can get these outside of buying dolls because I have watched a few YouTubers open these and they really want to get a certain one. And the only way to get them is by getting the dolls. And there are not this many dolls to get these treats. So hopefully they'll broaden this collection too. I'm pretty happy with what I got. I'm fine with what I got. Don't need more. Are they worth $30? No, I, I just don't. 25, maybe. They do come with a lot of fun features. The posability is really, really great. But um, I just, I would like to see maybe fabric backpacks if, if I'm gonna be spending 30 more dollars. Like I said, I got these with a coupon. I don't know if I'll be getting any more of these. I really do. I'm pretty happy with what I got. I'm fine with what I got. Don't need more. Well, I am back and it's taken me so long to get this video I made of their unboxing completed that in the meantime, I one, did an outfit swap, which I think is adorable on the Tiana inspired doll. She is wearing a Pocahontas outfit and with her original Tiana bag, then she also has on the shorts that came with the Tangled outfit. But also I purchased this outfit. I wanted this outfit super bad. And it just so happened that the Disney store had it. And I also decided that since the Disney store was having a sale when I bought this and I had a free shipping promo code that I don't remember where I found it, I went ahead and got the Jasmine inspired girl. And initially I was gonna put her in this kind of more punk outfit but as i when i got her and looked at her face she, nothing about her sweet face says punk to me she has more of a country girl vibe but my girls think that tiana inspired girl we need to give her a name but think that she would look best because of her darker hair and they say that the princess jasmine doll would look best in kind of the country girl outfit with these overalls so i'm going to be unboxing both the jasmine doll and the aurora outfit outfit and then we're gonna do a whole outfit swap so first admire her I absolutely adore her in this outfit and I'm kind of sad I'm gonna be changing her because she just looks so cute look at these shoes I know I already went nuts for these shoes before when I unboxed that outfit but <sighs> so we're gonna try some outfits on see what we come up with and we'll uh, show you our progress stay tuned Okay, before I take her out of the box, I thought I'd just kind of show you everything that she comes with um, without the reflection. She has this really cute Jasmine shirt. I have to say, I really like the style and the coloring. And then her shorts have this really fun shimmery gold sequins in the tears. 
She's got some flat sandals, which I have to say, oh, they're heels even. I'm sorry. Uh, anyone who's been to Disneyland knows that those shoes will not last her long. The girl's feet will be crying by the end of the day. Sorry, hun. But she looks like she's starting off pretty happy, so we'll just let her live in ignorance. All right, and then she has a fun tiger-themed jacket. I have to say, though, this reminds me of, I don't even remember the guy's name, some guy with a mullet who had tigers. I don't even know, did he get eaten by a tiger? But that's what it reminds me of. And he had blonde hair, hmm, I wonder. Anyway, moving along, she has this little handbag, which like all the other purses and bags that come with these dolls are basically not functional. They're just pretty. And then this cute little thing here, um, Vivian says it's a notebook. All right, it is, I guess it's a fake notebook. Yeah, it just flips up with the white. It's not a functioning notebook, but it's really pretty. I love the colors. Of course, she'll have her balloon with a candy in it. I forgot to point out too, a beautiful gold uh, bracelet with that really pretty bluish green, kind of like a turquoise, which is my favorite color. So this color scheme definitely works for me. Oh, by the way, I might be giving her freckles. Just saying, she's gonna get freckles. Okay, here's the outfit before I cut it all out. It has a really pretty rose headband with spikes. Love it. There is a ticket for a live music show for dragons and roses. And then of course that shimmery metallic jacket with lots of zippers. I love the boots. Look at these boots. They look almost like a quilted, or no, they're scales. They're supposed to be scales. And then this bag, which looks like it might actually be a functioning bag. It has, uh, it's clear with like the vines and flames. And then the shorts have, I believe, sewn in, yeah, the fishnet stockings. Now I wanted to show you on the back of the package for the outfit actually has the Snow White doll in it. And I haven't quite decided, I just don't think that is the look for her that I personally want. So like I said, we're gonna try stuff out. And I wanted to show you one other thing thing. <laughs> I was so disappointed there wasn't a redhead at all. I love redhead dolls and they didn't have one, you know, for like Mirida. But then I remembered I have a thrift store Mirida. Um, she's so darling. And I decided to have her try on the outfit, the Tiana outfit. And she just looks so cute in it. I mean, clearly she's very different looking than the other dolls. Like her eyes, her face, her head, everything is super different. But I thought she just looked really cute. The colors are perfect. And until they come out with a redhead version, this is gonna have to do, cause gotta have a redhead. All right, let's get all this stuff out of the package and start trying things on. All right, she is finally out of her package. Her hair is supposed to be, I think, curly in the back, but it is kind of a mess. <laughs> I'm really afraid to brush it. It's really not very good quality hair, so I'm afraid brushing it is just gonna leave her with a giant mess, unless I, I guess I could recurl everything after I brush it, get it wet. We'll see. I mean, it's not crunchy, like rainbow high crunchy. It's it's just not very silky soft and it's, it's very just kind of messy, but it's still pretty. I mean, just to have her posed, it's still a pretty looking hair. And um, I pretty much already showed you most of her outfit and everything, all the details when she was still in box. But one thing I did notice as I was getting her out is on her bracelet, it has a cute little genie uh, lamp. <laughs> Emma helped me out there. That is a really fun little detail. She doesn't have any back pockets, but the other outfit does, so that's fun. And then a couple things to note, her purse has a tassel, which is a nice detail. And then her, it's the Tiger King, I think is the guy I was thinking, and her Tiger King jacket, which I'm never gonna unsee that now. I don't know if anyone will ever wear this, but it has some cute little gold buttons on it, and it ties, which is nice. Let's get to the candy. Let's get to the junk food. So here's her balloon. It's the turquoise color. So we just pop the back off. There's the checklist. Oh, and it looks like a plate of waffles, which I already have waffles. But you know what, it's okay because I was at Goodwill this afternoon and I found this fun little treat stand, which I know is a Target stand. And I almost bought it at Target for $5 and I didn't. And they actually, so we're selling it pretty much new at Goodwill for two bucks or three bucks. So I was thinking it would be a cute little stand 
for my Disney girls. We can put all the little treats out on the treat stand. I just have to get more cookies now. So let's go ahead now and show you the outfit that I unboxed. First thing I'll show you is the tiny little ticket. It is definitely something that will get lost easily. So find a safe place for it or you'll never see it again. But I will probably put it in a little plastic bag. It is kind of like a vinyl plastic, not really super high quality, but it works as like a little reusable grocery bag. And then here is the headband with the spikes. You can see that a little better. Uh, it's really fun. I love the spikes. That's why I say it's a punk, kind of a punk outfit. And then next I'll show you the shoes. I just think they're so cool. They're that iridescent purple turquoise. The jacket has the purpley pink blue changing on one side, pink on the other, it carries through onto the back. And then the sleeves of course are this, it, for me they look purple, but in on the footage here it looks more blue. So I feel like it is more of a purple. And then we have of course the shirt and a Velcro's in the back and then the the shorts, which have pockets, really low pockets though. I mean, I don't know, maybe these are high-waisted pants, but those are very low pockets. All right, now we're gonna dress up everybody. We're gonna leave Mirda in this outfit because it just works for her. And I did wanna point out, Mirda had to wear Barbie shoes. She cannot wear the shoes that comes with the uh, Disney uh, L-I-L-Y dolls because their feet are way bigger. Okay, so like I said, the girls think I should put her in the dragon outfit and Jasmine doll in the overalls and then put the Snow White doll in the hiker outfit. You know what though? I do have the Rapunzel shirt, so I suppose I could put her in that. I'll be back. Okay, I finally got them all dressed. So the outfits we have arranged, you'll see they all look a little different except for Mirda. She stayed in her outfit. So I had the Snow White doll take on the headpiece that came with the Jasmine girl. She kept her beautiful red shirt that I love and she took on the Jasmine shorts with actually the Jasmine shoes and the jasmine purse. So basically she's wearing a lot of the jasmine outfit but the red uh, shirt, which I thought looked really good with the turquoise colors. And she's just so stinking cute. I love her so much. And then my uh, Tiana inspired girl, she went ahead and got the dragon outfit and I did her hair up. You don't wanna look at the back. The back of her hair is not, is not stellar. Um, I'll just show you, it's a mess. <laughs> But I took her two braids I put up and uh, gave her the crown. And yeah, I think she looks really good like this. I was a little hesitant because I really liked her in the little Pocahontas going on a hike outfit. The boots are amazing. She just looks really, really good. I love it. And then probably the most, <laughs> the funnest, I don't know. Howdy there, folks. She looks like she's going to go fix some fence and she's got her little backpack there with their boots. And uh, I gave her some freckles because her face just said, I need some freckles. And I tried her hair in braids and pigtails and it just didn't look as good as the hair down. Um, I really liked it down. And yeah, I think it's really cute, the overalls. I tried, I was gonna try a few different variations. I tried it with the red shirt and I just really wanted to go with the plaid. I felt like that just fit her. She's kind of a little country bumpkin heading to Disneyland. And then I put all of their treats on the little booth here so they could come up to the little snack counter if they wanted and get some yummies. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video going over some of the ILY Disney fashion dolls. They're just so adorable. Yeah, let me know in the comments which one's your favorite. If you own any, uh, if you own any of the outfits, I'd love to know what combinations you've tried. Stay tuned and like, comment, subscribe if you enjoyed watching this video and we will catch you later. Bye.
wanted to show you one more quick thing I found the other day. I was at Safeway and I always like to look at the little Thai Beanie Boo babies. And I found this little guy. It's a little baby Dumbo. I love Dumbo. Mom, I'm just a baby.